Today we're going to look at a stem and leaf plot and we're going to use the stem and leaf plot to help us find a box and whisker plot. Remember that with a box and whisker plot you need quartile 1, quartile 2, and quartile 3. The good part about a stem and leaf plot is that it already puts the data in order for you. So if I take a look at this data set here, each of these stems is a tens place and the leaf is a ones place. Now down here, this number down here with a stem of 10 and a leaf of 0 is 100. This number right here is 113 and the last number is 117. The first thing I want to do is I want to count up how many numbers there are. So you can count all of your leaves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 leaves. 10 is an even number, which means when I find the median, it's going to be between two values. Half of 10 is 5, so I am going to count my first five data values and draw a line. When I counted five data values, I got to the number 93. I'm going to draw a line at 93. After 93, I should also see five data values, which I do. So my median is between 93 and 93. Since it's between the same value, it's just 93. When you find quartile 1, you must include both of these 93's in your lower half of the data and your upper half of the data because the median is between the two 93's. So there are five data values in between them. Five is an odd number, okay? So I know there's going to be a middle. So I'm going to count two. That's my middle value because there's two numbers after it. So quartile 1 is 89. And then the same thing holds true for the upper half of the data. So I'm going to count two, circle the next one. There's two data values after it, which makes 100 quartile three. Once you found your quartiles, then you go down to the bottom and you find the box and whisker plot that matches it. It might be easiest to figure out which one has the correct quartile one. So if I look here, A looks like it might be 89. B is not, so I cross that one out. C might be close to 89. It looks like it might be 87, though, so that's a possibility. D, quartile 1, is right around 90, so I know it's not D. So I just have to check quartile 2 and quartile 3. So in the first one, quartile 2 is at 93. It's most likely A. Let's go ahead and check quartile 3. Quartile 3 is 100. I'm pretty sure it's A, but just to be sure, I check further down. In answer choice C, quartile 2 is about 93. Quartile 3 is around 103 or 104. It's not what we were looking for, so the answer is definitely A. In this problem, it's very difficult to see exactly where the quartiles lie because the number line is so small and it's above it, but you can use estimation techniques and drawing lines down connecting to the number line to help you figure out what the correct data values would be.